struggling with the messy import paths in your Node.js projects? In this video, we will unlock the power of TypeScript path aliases to make your code cleaner, more readable, and easier to maintain. Plus, I will show you how to configure Jest to handle these aliases seamlessly in your tests. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in JavaScript and Node.js. My goal is to help you become a confident and stress-free developer by increasing your skills and proficiency. Let's get started. I am in Node.js Express project and our project has been growing. So if you go to routes v1 tasks controller, we can see uh, that we have imports coming from deeply nested modules. You can see dot 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 dot. Our imports have many dots. On the one hand, it doesn't look real pretty, and on the other hand, if we were to move this controller file to a different folder, we will have to update all these imports because they are relative. Of course, VS Code will help us do this refactoring, however, we will still have to check it. Another approach is to use TypeScript path aliases. With aliases, we can just point to the SRC folder with add symbol and our import path will collapse to add slash errors, add slash Prisma client and add slash logger. However, you can see now we have the imports underlined in red because TypeScript doesn't understand it. Let's go to tsconfig.json file and update it so the errors go away. In compiler options, we first need to define base URL. And this base URL will be just a dot, the root of our project. After base URL, we add paths configuration and this will be an object where we define aliases. We're gonna put add and slash star and it will be pointing to src slash star, the files in the src directory. All right, let's go ahead and save the changes and now you can see the errors went away. So TypeScript now understands the aliasing. Although TypeScript understands the aliasing, the Node.js actually doesn't. And if we build and run this project, the Node.js is going to start complaining. Let's go ahead and build the project. We will need to create a build and run scripts. Let's go to package.json and define build script. Build script will just run tsc command to compile TypeScript into JavaScript. In the start script, we will use .env to import environment variables from .env file, and we will use node command to run index.js file in the dist folder. Also, since we're going to be building in this directory, we're going to include this directory in a .gitignore file so it doesn't get committed to the repository and pushed to GitHub. Let's go ahead and save the changes, and instead of npm run dev, as we usually do, let's run npm run build. Our build has been completed, now we have the dist folder. Let's go ahead and run command npm run start to start the application. As you can see, we've got a problem here, right? It tells us that Node.js actually cannot find module add slash errors. So TypeScript understands the import path, but Node.js doesn't. Let's go ahead and fix that. In order to fix the issue, we need to install a package called module alias. Let's go ahead and type npm install module alias. And we also need to install the types for module alias with npm install add types module alias with a save dev flag. Next thing that we need to do is to go into package.json and add configuration for module alias package. At the bottom of package.json file, we're going to put underscore module aliases configuration object and we're going to put add symbol and it will point to the dist folder. Finally, we will need to import module alias register into the index.ts file. So let's go to index.ts file and at the very top of the index.ts file, we'll just do import module alias slash register. Now we should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and rebuild the project with npm run build and npm run start. And as you can see, our API is running on port 3000 and aliases are being resolved by Node.js without a problem. If you feel like you are learning something new from this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Now let's go ahead and start the development script with npm run dev. And it looks like everything is great here as well. 
However, if we delete the dist folder and run npm run dev again, we're gonna have an issue. Because we're using TS node and TS node compiles TypeScript files on the fly, it doesn't create a dist folder. So the module alias package that we installed won't work. We can go ahead and try to find a fix for TS node so it understands path aliases. However, we're not going to do that. Instead of TS node, we can actually use a different package to run our app in development. In package.json file in the scripts, we have a dev script which is running nodeman. And if we look at nodeman.json file, we can see the configuration that basically runs TS node. Let's go ahead and use a different package instead of TS node. Since we're building our project with a TSC, we can also use TSC to run our project in development. The package that will help us automatically restart our project in development is called TSC Watch. Let's update the dev script with a TSC Watch. We will inject our environment variables with a .env and on success run node dist slash index.js file. When in development, TSC Watch will be rebuilding application and will be creating or updating files in the dist folder. So we should be okay there because we have the module aliases that will be applied to the files in dist folder. And if you go and look at the npm documentation for TSC Watch, right, it builds itself as a nodeman for TypeScript. The docs have some other TSC Watch options that you can explore. Uh, but we will go back to the project and since, you know, TSC is a nodeman for TypeScript, we can actually go ahead and remove the nodeman from our project. And we can also remove TS node as well. Let's go ahead and uninstall the packages with npm uninstall nodeman and TS node. We can also remove the nodeman.json configuration file. And now instead of these two packages, we can just install TSC watch with a dev flag. All right, our app is good to go. Let's go ahead and save the changes around npm run dev. And as you can see now, the app is running in development using TSC watch. Now the path aliases work both when we build our project and when we develop it. The final thing that we actually need to fix is our tests. So if we go to add.test.ts file, we have an import from utils here, uh, so we can put add slash utils instead of utils and it looks like TypeScript understands it in the test with no problem. But then if we run npm run test we will get the same issue. It tells us that it cannot find module at utils. So we need to update uh, just.config.mgs file to make just understand the path aliases as well. In order to fix the just let's do the following. We're going to import path to module name mapper from tsgest. Path to module name mapper basically will map the paths that we created in tsconfig file to modules. So at utils will be mapped to src utils. Then we're going to import create require from modules. Since ES module do not support require directly, we will use create require to load the tsconfig.json. We will destruct compiler options from tsconfig and use compiler options base URL for module paths option in just configuration. Then we will assign to module name mapper config property, path to module name mapper function and pass to it compiler options paths and config uh, object with a prefix uh, root dir slash option to correctly map module paths relative to the just root directory. This ensures just resolves paths accurately. Let's go ahead and save changes and run npm run test again. And now we can see that just uh, also understands the path aliases. Great. When using path aliases in your TypeScript projects, there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, you gotta be explicit and descriptive. Your path alias names should clearly represent contents of the directory or the module alias. For example, add components instead of add C to define alias for components stored in components directory. Also, you have to be consistent. You have to maintain a consistent naming convention for your path aliases through the project. For example, if you use add components, stick to similar naming pattern like add utils or add API. Avoid collisions. 
you have to ensure that your path alias doesn't clash with the names of installed packages in node modules directory. It's good practice to always use unique names for your path aliases to prevent such conflicts. Also, you should consider the size and complexity of the project. Path aliases could potentially lead to overhead. For a smaller project with a very limited number of modules, a path alias might be not needed. For example, our project is actually not that big, right? It should be okay without path aliases. The only reason I'm using path aliases is to show you how to do them. Finally, ensure that any tooling you use in your project is compatible with a path aliases to prevent any potential errors during development. And you basically witnessed it when we had to swap TS node for TSC watch. In tsconfig.json, we define the path to the SRC directory, but you can actually create path aliases to any folder you like. Let's try doing that. Let's add a path alias to errors, and this will point to SRC errors. We will put the star at the end to include everything in the errors path. Now we can go ahead and go to the tasks controller file and use add errors to import errors instead of add slash errors. And TypeScript will understand what we're pointing to. But again, keep in mind, you will need to actually update the module aliases configuration in your package.json file uh, to add path for errors. So add errors will point to dist slash errors. All right. Now, if we run npm run dev, everything still works because we're pointing to the errors folder correctly. And again, like I mentioned before, when you do your path aliasing, be sure you don't collide with npm packages because many npm packages start with add symbol. For example, add prisma. Some people use tilde or squiggly line instead of add symbol in path aliases to avoid collision with npm modules. I hope you understand the aliasing a little bit better now, and it is not just simply going into tsconfig file and adding path configuration to the compiler options. You also need to consider how your aliases will affect Node when running JavaScript files in production. Also, if you are using Jest for testing, you need to be sure it understands path aliases if you are planning on using them in your tests. Finally, your dev workflow may also need to be adjusted. In this video, we explored how path aliases integrate with Node.js and Jest. If you want a deeper dive into setting up your Node.js project with a TypeScript and Jest, be sure to check out the related video.